Most high school students, they come to high school and they don't really know what they want to do. And they end up leaving high school, still not knowing what they want to do. And they enter college and they have this kind of time period where they're not really sure what they want. And then you're kind of, you're using your college money to try and figure out what you want to do with your life. At least two years, maybe two and a half years ago, we had a board meeting when we were essentially voting on the classes for the following year. And in that board meeting, the, the board started having questions to the principal at that time about, we had a lot of great classes, but we didn't have clarity for students to figure out how to put them together. And so they were asking a lot of questions about, we need some additional information for students and some ways to how do we organize what we do so that students had a clarity of how to go from ninth grade to college or career. And so when we look at the pathways, that is kind of an answer to that board meeting was saying, how do we give additional clarity? How do we make sure that kids have the knowledge, they have the skills, but they also have a plan? For me as a community member, and then now as the principal of the school, it's really important to me that not a single student graduates not knowing what they want to be when they grow up. Not to say they won't change their mind, and I hope they do, but we want them to at least have a path when they graduate from this high school that they have their first step in place, and they're also empowered and have the courage and knowledge and background that if they change their mind, they know what to do next. I applied for an innovation grant with A for Arizona, and I had the opportunity to look and say, how do we get people talking and how do we expand upon the success of the existing programs, and then maybe fill in the gaps of some community and student interest. As a new principal, I had to get everyone on board and say, trust me, we're gonna do some bold stuff and it's going to be great, and fortunately people did. Just thinking about what students need to be able to go out into the workforce today, how the workforce is changing, what our employers in the city of Tucson need in terms of a workforce that can fulfill the jobs of today and tomorrow, and being able to help bring that feedback into a school directly so that they can start to shape educational opportunities to meet that demand is just huge. I think it's really important to look at what education can be for your students and what your students and your communities are passionate about. Um, we don't want to have to run schools the exact same way they were when we were going to school and it's really important to ask the experts. The business council is a great way to get started to see what your school might really need and what we've really found is that those industry professionals are more than willing to give a lending hand, to provide support, to provide guidance, curriculum and strategies so that when you're building your plan moving forward you can can really cite that the top people in the industry are have your back and they know what your students need to be successful. We developed four pathways. All of these pathways have custom four-year plans. So we have a um, performance and design pathway for students who are really inclined to focus on art, performance, making music, um, acting, theater. Um, we have a STEM pathway for students who are really passionate in science, technology, engineering, and math. We also have a liberal arts pathway for students who are interested in law, public safety, languages, psychology, um, some of those general studies majors. I think that education often can be very driven from the top down, and this allows for students and parents and community members to be driving what we do as a school. And so um, that's really important and for the overall um, success of students in their futures. And so we're not just making them take classes that they don't feel like they really have an interest in. They get a pick and they get to choose what classes interest them. This allows them to plan how are you going to kind to narrow down those interests so that by the time you get to college you have a little bit better understanding, a little bit more well-rounded, and maybe you've like refined your interests a little bit more. So I think that's really great in the overall picture for our students. And the pathway is they provide you with some general structure into, oh, I might be interested in the construction of the infrastructure field, oh, I'm interested in the STEM fields, and then you can kind of pick your path, see if you like that. But what's so cool about doing it at the high school setting is that you can change your paths based upon whether or not you're enjoying what you're learning. And it helps you kind of develop or find your role in society. So from a teacher's perspective, I think the Pathways is great because it gives students uh, a choice and some skin in the game. They get to decide um, what's best for them by laying it out and having that kind of clear path is, is nice for students to kind of know where they're going and where they can go. and, and how certain classes support other classes. I think that's another thing too, is a lot of times when kids are registering, it's just like, you know, I'm picking things, but when you can really see it kind of laid out clearly, this is what I'm taking, this is why I'm taking it, this is how it's going to help me. I think uh, as teachers, that really kind of solidifies the, the purpose of, of each class. Our fourth pathway is really unique because it doesn't just 
appeal to a career. It really appeals to students who are looking to engage in an honors college experience in the university. But what we're really seeing here as well as around the country is a lack of opportunity for students to start having conversations with university level faculty, with staff, with learning to how to navigate a university system. We want our students to be very comfortable going to the odd lecture here or there, performance on campus, a poetry reading, knowing what it's like to collaborate in a class and engage in the opportunity that an honors college student would have on that campus. One of my favorite classes is my dual enrollment chemistry class. So by taking that class, I actually get college credit that I can then transfer into whichever college I decide to go into. So I'm already starting out college with credits under my belt. So I've got a biology credit that I already get to start college with. So that's really helpful in ensuring that you get like that extra step ahead and so it's really nice. Due to the advanced placement classes we already had, students were able to graduate with enough credit in many cases where they were starting college as sophomores. With the added courses that we have plus dual enrollment, we're making that opportunity even, even better. Not so much that students may want to graduate early, but now they have the opportunity to have an internship, have a job, take more electives and really explore different careers so that there's not that pressure for them to get in and out so quickly that they can't take advantage of all the opportunities that college has. And so what this innovation grant allowed us to do is invest in our teachers, invest in full-time employment, invest in curriculum and training and support so that we could have them hit the ground running on the first year um, and build excitement for students. And what we're seeing is that already for year two that these programs have already grown by 50 or 75 percent and they're becoming self-sustaining. And so thanks to Arizona and the innovation grant, we're able to make that program happen where without it, we might've had to ask those teachers to go part-time or teach other classes that they didn't have quite the expertise in. What's so positive about what we're doing right now is that we have a vision in our district that we wanna make sure that every student is both personally and academically successful. And what we're doing is just making that more focused but at the same time, giving kids more choices and more opportunities. So it's not focused in a way that you're locked into a path. It's focused in a way that you can see your opportunities and see your options in front of you so that students have just like a clearer path and a clear uh, range of options to kind of move forward.